Швейцарии завершился саммит мира по Украине, участники которого приняли итоговую декларацию. Корреспондент Евроньюз передает из Бюргенштока. 80 countries out of the 92 that attended the peace summit in Switzerland jointly called for the territorial integrity of Ukraine to be the basis for any peace agreement that could end Russia's full-scale invasion. However, there were some countries that attended that did not sign the final declaration on Sunday. These include Russia-friendly nations like, for example, India, South Africa and Saudi Arabia. The latter uh, is apparently rumored to be the, one of the favored countries to host the next peace summit but for Ukraine, and this time Russia might even be invited. The joint final statement omitted more sensitive issues like whether Ukraine could join the NATO alliance or how troop withdrawals uh, would be managed from both sides. The document also referred to Russia's invasion as a war, a label which Moscow has uh, strictly denied. So now what? Well, analysts believe that not much will come out of this conference. Moscow's key ally, China, did not attend, and Brazil only came as an observer, and both of these countries uh, even proposed their alternative peace plans for Ukraine. According to the Austrian Chancellor Karl Nehammer, there could even be an interim conference before the Russian delegation is even allowed to join in for the negotiations. And according to the Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, uh, during the final press conference on Sunday, he said that he will now uh, work on developing a more concrete plan with other nations before presenting it to Moscow. Sofia Katsukova reporting from Bergenstock for Euronews.